Hello and welcome to not Let's Play Momir. It's been a while since I recorded one of these um, because I had a huge backlog and I started playing uh, Hearthstone a bunch. Um, I currently am through my backlog so this video will actually go up tonight and then I will try to record a bunch more today uh, just to create a backlog again. I'm trying to upload, like I used to upload them in batches like five videos of heads up and then five videos of Momo or something uh, but I'm trying to upload one video of each these these days uh, one magic re related video and one um, Hearthstone related and one poker related like poker is probably heads up uh, Hearthstone is probably arena like those are two options uh, for it unless I do like a tournament with Hearthstone but um, that's not that viable these days or yet um, it might in the future, but at this point it's not. And um, what else? Oh yeah, and uh, I said magic related just because there might be things that uh, I do, like I, I do a stream for Belgic Magic every... Wow, he doesn't make a 2-drop on the play. Like I do a stream every uh, Wednesday or at least I try to do a stream every week. Um, and that is also magic related for Belgic Magic. Um, and I'll upload that over Momir, of course. And as soon as Cube finally does come live again, it's been like a month and a half now, maybe two months, like the start of this channel, basically. Um, and that never happened. So, oh, it doesn't, it didn't make it to Europe. So, we'll see what what comes of that. Obviously, I want to Cube to come be active, but basically, it'll be one magic related, one of all the rest related. So. Uh, no biggie there. Uh, attacking here makes no sense because he has to block. He can't even. He can't even be an idiot and fail to block. Like he has to block. Um, and this is a great card for late game, right? It just kills. Uh, wow, that's a five, five, four, four, basically. So this card is just uh, lethal sometimes because all creatures have to block this, and if I have 23 power on board, he's dead. So that's pretty good. Let's see. Okay. I did have some issues today with XSplit. Apparently something happened. And they said like due to some uh, weird actions we want you to reset your password. And you couldn't actually log in with your old password. Um, so that becomes an 8-8 eventually. Sure. Uh, it doesn't actually do anything at this point. And I found it to be weird. And I mean, they said like, yeah, we uh, sent you a link to your email. Uh, I checked my email. I had no link. And then it's like, if you do not, re if you did not receive an email, you can go to this website. And the website was www.expl.it. That was like, uh, that seems like a fishy link. So I just went to the website of Expled itself, and. Um, can be blocked by more than one creature. Wow, that's, that's also pretty good. And it basically um, set the same on the website, so it just used the website's function of changing my password just to be safe uh, that I wasn't, um, I didn't have anything on my PC that was trying to steal my exploit. Like, why would you steal an exploit account? But you never know, right? Um, so he's probably gonna block here, sure. But you never know, right? Uh, there could be things like that happening. And I don't wanna um, <laughs> be the guy that loses my account to it. And uh, it might be quite a hassle to get it back. Uh, I'll make my six drop before I like. Like I have had uh, my Steam account hacked. Um, oh, let's go. Cool. So that becomes a four four flying next turn. Like I had my Steam account hacked before. And it, it took me quite a hassle to, to get it back. Now, why does it block? It just block like this, man, yeah. And it, w it was quite a hassle to get it back. Um, apparently, getting your Steam account back, they need to verify your code. Uh, I had to write a specific code on a CD key. Uh, detain, right? And it's a uh, 3 3, okay. Like he detains that, I make this a 4-4, four, four, I attack with it, what is he gonna do then? He just hopes I don't have a swamp. He did read this, right? He knows what Nightmare does. 
Bam, baby. Deal with it. Yeah, so if he doesn't block, he goes down to 13. And we have a swamp for next turn as well, so we get a 5 5 flyer then. And we get a 5 6 flash trample. Uh, the flash obviously doesn't matter, but the trample does. We also have this, we still have this, so next turn we can do exactly 13. Um, so he doesn't have anything here, he's dead. Uh, this 3 damage to target attack, yeah, but that doesn't have haste. So everything is forced to block this. I have 13 damage in play, uh, so we go 1 0 up. Yeah, he does see it, right? I do this, I just go to declare attackers. Bam, 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 bam. And that's GG. Okay, everything has to block this, yep. Look, that's an illegal block. So he should soon realize that 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 is an illegal block. Uh, what do we want to damage like this just to kill it? Like we even get a good trade here, and then he dies. He dies. Um, I don't see why he... Like, wasn't he able to calculate that? He should have been, right? Well, you never know. Um, some Pokemon just aren't that good, I guess. <laughs> and during the stream, um, like last stream I did Modern Daily. Uh, modern, basically, and I also did a Modern Daily with Moonpot, which is basically a Kikipot with Megas of the Moon. And in between rounds I played uh, Momir. Wow, that's a good card. Like, I'm never gonna play an artifact spell because you can't play an artifact spell, so he has a 3 2 for 2. So I played Momir and actually missed the kill. Um, which for me was pretty bad. 2-1 uh, flying death touch is pretty good, right? I mean, it, it provides a pretty good clock. Um, and it trades later on. Like, I'm gonna take the 3 damage here. Like, it's easier to get a creature that trades with this than to get a creature that kills this I guess. Uh, he doesn't make a tree drop uh, which is fine uh, he was on the play so I would do the same there. I'm gonna make a tree drop here just because he has a 3-3 tree tree. Uh, that's a bit pretty bad card uh, just because it's a stupid 2-1 no 2-2 like uh, his 4 drop is gonna trump it anyway but we like our 4 drop should be able to stop his 3-3 tree tree in general because a 4 drop vanilla creature is a 3-3 tree tree. And he gets a 4-5 in infect at the beginning of your upkeep, you get a poison counter. So he just has a 4-5 infect. I can take two hits from that, but that's it. Uh, the fact that he gets a poison counter from it isn't going to make a huge difference. Like, do I want to kill it instantly? I don't think I do. I just want this dead first. Enters the battlefield. Everyone, he goes in the season. Ah, that's cool. So... This is now a 3 3, but it will become a uh, 4 4. Assuming he uh, summons a creature, which he should. So I will take the damage here again, and then this becomes a 4 4. Like, why didn't I get to choose an opponent, but I only have one opponent? Not much to choose there, is there? Uh, third opponent, this to you, and the other before attacker shot. That's pretty sick. Uh, it's a 3 3, but making me discard two cards two turns in a row. It's probably spell GG. Um, like he, wow, what did he just do? He this turns into a four four man. Can't you read? Oh, I see. It reads. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I actually missed that. Um, so I can't stop making drops. I have to be the aggressor here. I have to get lucky. Um, and try to get there. This is gonna be so annoying. Like I'm, I'm only gonna be making six drops, right? I'm gonna stop at six. Uh, two four. This combat damage. Mm, four lens cards. Uh, then mills those. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. We do have um, four damage each turn, so we do have a five turn clock at this point. I don't get why he didn't attack with that last turn. Like he was afraid it would double blocked. Then he just uh yeah. 
That's a pretty sick card. Anything that discards in this format is pretty good. Anything that draws cards is pretty good. Um, if he gets a flyer here, uh, that's that's good. Like does he only non black creature even? Wow. So we can easily attack for four poison here, which I don't care about. I don't care about poison at this point. I mean, I can even take a free hit from that turn after. I just care about um, winning this. So what do I want? I want a 6-6 six, six flying dragon. I always want 6-6 six, six flying dragons. Because 6-6 six, six flying dragons are good. Instead I get a 3-3 three, three fear, which is pretty shitty, seeing that your opponent has uh, a bunch of black cards. So he goes down to 14, I mill him. Uh, look at the cards. No, I don't want to look at the cards. I don't want to look at the cards, man. It is looking bad, though. Um, the fact that I can go up to 7 is pretty shitty. Um, I really need to hit something here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go see this one. <laughs> um, there's not much I can get for 7. He has a pretty fast clock. Um, you might think like, yeah, you can play it out, uh, it doesn't matter. And it's true, I could have played it out. Um, like, I could have the option to win, right? You never know, like... Um, what six is there that's good enough? Maybe I could have just gone to lower and lower. Or just attack with the 2-1, he has that touch. But then he attacks with a 7-7. Seven, seven. I can't really block because his ability is pretty sick. Um, yeah, it seems highly unlikely that I was winning that one. So let's hope we get a mana accelerator here or a Zerus Guild Mage. I'm not picky. But I am. 2-1 uh, Haster, meh. Of course I want to use the ability. Like, why are these mate triggers? <laughs> I'm curious by the way, uh, so this was printed obviously before the rules changed where everything uh, where triggers now have to happen uh can be blocked kicked okay sure so it's just a one one unblockable uh let's attack first and see what it does if he trades yeah i think he should trade um well i don't i don't think he should trade uh i'm sorry i was wrong there like i i don't think trading is correct because you have an unblockable one while I have a stupid 1-1, one, one, which will get run by this anyway. Especially with horsemanship. It can be blocked, right? Okay. Uh, so he has a 2-1 unblockable now. Like, he had 3 power unblockable in play. If he... Um, didn't do that. It, if he didn't trade. He would have gone down to 20 now, but he had 3 power unblockable. Uh, so that's a 3-3. Three, three. Then a 4-4. Four, four. It basically keeps growing, just because it taps to attack. So he needs to have a 3 trio better here. Um, if he attacks him, obviously not blocking, I can't even block. Please don't be a big one. Uh, discard a card to start out non black creature. Uh, that's pretty good. I guess. Wow, well, he's not gonna. Yeah, he's gonna attack, sure. So it goes down to 19. I get a creature. Um, I'm gonna make a drop before I attack. It could be that it has haste. Instead it is a 5-3. No, that's pretty decent. Like it's a 5-3 and it actually pumps another creature. That seems good, right? It's not black though, so he might be able to kill it. Uh, yeah, I think I want to use this ability. Like, what I was saying was the, the mate triggers uh, used to be because uh, you could forget to do it and then there's like, yeah, the ruling with it's a mate trigger so you basically uh, opted not to do it. That was the ruling back then. But I think nowadays it's it's different, right? Uh, just because the trigger, the trigger isn't obliged anymore. Uh, yeah, if, even if, it's, if you forget an obliged trigger, it doesn't come on the stack anymore. And I think that makes a huge difference nowadays. He's gonna kill something then, I guess. Um, so let's attack first, so that he at least decides what to kill. Um, I think he should kill this, just because it becomes more powerful. 
or he's gonna kill the five three, which I'm fine with as well. Uh, sure, you're still gonna take five. Yeah, when he was built, it, ju sorry, uh, just had a, a text, me text message here, um, talking about a Grand Prix Prague, which is at the start of a uh, Grand Prix Barcelona. Uh, for my team, of course. Well, it's not basically my team. It's I guess I'll I'll call it our team. Um, like he can keep on doing this for a while, but he's never gonna advance his board, and he's gonna keep on taking five or six. Like he kills this, he takes another five, uh, even more if I want. And he's never gonna be making drops, and he's losing cards uh, to this as well. Like if he doesn't have this card, yeah, it would be, be be a pretty sick card for him. But like Royal Assassin would be uh, one of the most nuts cards, right? At three, uh, so he kills this, or I would kill that. Okay, do I have Little next turn? Then just a sec, I have a phone call now, and I'll just pause it here. So I'm back uh, again. That was for a job. Uh, still looking for a job. Pretty active. Just came from a job interview, by the way. Um, it went pretty shitty, in my opinion. Um, so let's think about this. I can hit him for down to nine, and then the turn after. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hit him down to nine. Don't wanna have him gain control at this point. Uh, just gotta hope my seven isn't terrible. Uh, it has to be pretty good here, or at least decent. Um, that's a pretty good card, right? Uh, I can basically kill this, kill this, deal 3 to him. I could just deal 6 to him, no matter what. Uh, among defending player and or, yeah. So, I'm curious what he's doing here. He needs something. Choose flying first strike, trample, rampage 3, gains the ability until your next turn. Uh, so I can kill both of these with this. Uh, he can block, 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 then, yeah, that's fine. Like, he, he totally loses control here, right? Um, like, this automatically kills his assassin. Um, if you just attack with these, he has to block this because he's dead to it. Because it's 9 damage. Um, he has to block this as well, I guess. Like, yeah, he blocks there. Um... This is interesting, so I am gonna do this and then assign one here and five there. Uh, there's no point in pumping, I actually want an A drop. So that happens. I'm gonna assign one here and five there. Like I did assign this in that order, right? Um, Blockers are notorious assassin, and then ah okay. So uh, apparently go for the assassin first, and then the angel fire. So I have to do it like that. Uh, yeah, that works. And he goes down to four. I then make another drop, which hopefully is something he can't really trump. Um, well, it's a one-one morph. It's still good. Like if he doesn't have removal for the ogre, uh, the ogre still kills him because it deals six uh, the way I want to deal deal it. So it's basically unblockable. He gets a flying vigilance indestructible. Other permanents he controls has indestructible. It really doesn't matter because this card is gonna kill you, man. Like he probably doesn't realize it here. Uh, that's fine. I'm gonna assign all six on you and kill you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next one.